Hey there, this is a quick video. Some folks have been asking how to do uh, export from Twisty Timer. And I've seen it in the past where you can export. And it uh, seems like not a lot of people know how to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to open up Twisty Timer. Now I don't use Twisty Timer a lot uh, other than to do the 7 and, and 12 second. I'm sorry, eight and 12 second uh, warnings when I do weekly competitions. So I'm gonna go to the, the little cog here. There's an export import. I'm gonna export. I'm gonna export for backup. And that gives me a, um, a link. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug my phone in this is an Android, so it's going to be a little easier to get this. If you have an iPhone, then you need a browser that can allow you to access your files. So I'm going to open up the device. Oops. I'm going to allow. Okay. And there we go. All right. So now I'm going to go to, I believe it's card. Nope. It's not card, it's phone. And there's a twisty timer directory. So double click on that, back up, and this is where they're stored. So I'm gonna copy this over to my computer. And I'm gonna open up a um, spreadsheet. I'm going to import this file. And let's see. And there. So there we go. I said semicolon as um, the separator when you do text to columns. And I'm going to click OK. And there it is. This tells me um, puzzle. I don't know what normal is. This is the date in milliseconds, and this is the scramble. So I'm going to show you real quick how to let me set the width on that. Column widths. Make that one inch. Okay, so I'm gonna. So this is milliseconds before, after uh, January 1st, 1970. This is uh, epoch time that's used on Unix systems. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to get around that. So I believe um, I'm gonna do take this. And make that seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, convert that to days. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. All right. So you should get a number around that, 18,259. And then I'm going to add this string right here. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So that's the formula. And then I want to convert this to a day. And there it is. So if I wanted that as a time, I can format and then come down here, go to time right there. And then Let's see. I want this to be on every row. There it is. So it shows I use this uh, December 29th, 2019 for the first time. And then I tend to, like I said, I just tend to use it as 
uh, an 8 and 12 second warning for for my weekly competitions. And so there you go. You have the time, and this is in milliseconds. So if you wanted that in seconds, you just divide by 1,000. And... There you are. So this shows I did a six by six on December 13th, 2019 at uh, 18, 20 p.m. and the time was 412 seconds. So hope that helps. Take care.